Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome back, I should say. Um, this episode is going to be a little different. Um, not going to be doing the racing or driving or showing the, the other cars that I have. Um, this this one I'm going to be doing. Um, we're going to do a toy grade conversion. Well, a mod, I should say. We're gonna we're gonna take this truck apart. This is um. I don't even know the name. I, I actually went to um, Savers and bought it. Uh, it's a toy grade model. So when you toy grade means when you hit the throttle. Uh, for those of you who don't know, toy grade is when you hit the the gas on the control, it just takes off. It doesn't go slow. It doesn't you know reverse slow. It just takes off fast forward or fast reverse. Uh, also with the steering when you turn the wheel even a little bit or all the way either way uh, as soon as it makes that connection the steering will turn right away all the way it won't have a uh, slow turn you know proportional steering or um, drive uh, yeah so what I'm gonna do is take this apart take the mechanism for the servos a little apart um, take out the motherboard the electronics everything for this except the motor because the system I, I think this motor is good I mean it's not super fast I don't want it to be super fast I want I actually want this to be a nice little crawler even though the suspension is a is stiff but um, I'm gonna turn it into a crawler um, I'm gonna take these wheels off as also I will try to see if I can get um, some sharks if I have some and probably me you know give it a little bit more suspension travel take off whatever plastic parts that's not needed um, remove it I mean it's light has a little battery on like a, a space for the battery under it but that's gonna be pointless I'm not gonna use that have everything inside and um, this just has one two three four screws on the outside of it you don't have to flip it or anything so you just have a nice little um, electric drill and just Zip away, take all four of them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put. Um, I do have some tires, nice crawling wheels. Can you see them? Nice wheels. So soft, you know, they're crawlers. Um, they're good for the crawling. So these I'm gonna actually put on here. You know, with a little bit of adjustment, to take these off and put these on. These I think are better. These are like so stiff. These have more play. They're not as rubbery, but as a real crawler tires. But these are good. I mean, for what I want to use it for. I like this truck. Uh, it's good. So yeah, I have the. I'm gonna put the electronics in. From, this is a ESC XL5. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put either. My options are the bigger servo or one of the smaller ones just depends on how much space I have in there when I take out everything might have to do some cutting might not um, definitely gonna for the servo definitely going to hot glue it down because it seems to work better that way I have another car that I built that was a toy grade uh, and it works better that way I and mean, unless you want to zip tie everything and with, even with the zip ties you still have a little movement and this doesn't have too much you know, of a turning radius, which uh, hopefully if I do some trimming, um, it would work. It would actually make it, you know, a little bit wider. I do think the tires will make it even better. These tires, they're a little bit thinner and a little bit taller, but it's better. I think it is. I mean, it's not the exact same color as a truck, but hey, to me, it's good enough. I like them it's either these or the yellow ones that I have that are inside. I like these so I'm gonna get going taking this apart um I'm not gonna do everything step by step I'm gonna obviously I don't want this video to last three hours but I'm as I take everything apart I'm gonna show you guys you know here and there what what I've done okay let's do this yep so I'm gonna Start with taking the body off. You can use a regular screwdriver. 
but on some parts I think it's faster. If it reaches, if it doesn't, this obviously is too wide to reach into the little hole. So with this, I'll be using screwdriver, one of the man's one of the man's best tools. One of the best things that were ever created. You can only go so far with a rock. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So, yeah, see, I, I don't know what happened with this. I don't have the control for this, so I guess whoever had it before did some messing or adjusting, whatever it is they tried to do to it. But that's all coming out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let me get this out, and we'll be back. All right, so what I did was take all of this off. Uh, obviously, this is the suspension. Um, yeah, <laughs> not a good one, but it is toy grade, so, you know, can't expect much. It's okay though. Um, so yeah, this is the inside of it. Um, this is no good. This is trash. So what we're gonna do next is take out this motor for the steering, and I'll be back when that's out. All right, so I took out the motor, the box for the steering, everything that goes with it like that. And it's uh, all plastic. Not anything you can use now, but um, yeah, took that out of there. So what the steering is, you can see this little thing controls the steering. Um, let's use one of these servos and see. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the big servo, get the big servo with it and use the servo horn, excuse me, to turn. And I think one of these, and this is not the only one I have, I have a bunch of different ones, but I'm, I'm going to go with the stronger, bigger one to make sure it gets its full radius. But you see how it springs back? It springs back because you have to take this mechanism out, these two screws, take the bottom cover off and it has a spring inside, which makes it bounce back take that off and probably just give it a little bit of trim on the sides inside there just so I can see if I can get a little bit more of a turn if not that's fine that's good enough you know it's not gonna be going fast so I gotta cut it or anything like that um yeah we'll get all that done and then um be back all right so what I did was already I took off the bottom you can see the steering um took this cover off it was four screws I thought it was only two but I didn't see these two up here so it was four screws took it apart um, all of this is the steering um, spring mechanism so when you do it it bounces back when you turn it obviously it was connected in there I didn't want to go through all of that but this is the spring that makes it bounce back so now you see it just stays that way um, I'm gonna put this cover back on when I put everything back in together just so that it basically keeps the system together um, But all of this is no, no, no longer needed this can get Trashed um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna It doesn't really matter if that's sticking out because it's not gonna level I mean it's not gonna keep it from turning um yeah the sides are bumping so I'm not gonna be able to get too much um turn yeah see the inside bumps hits the corner of the plastic wall so it's not gonna get too much of a turn so that's probably like the max that I can do with it but it's also hitting inside this in both sides 
I mean, I can cut a little more here and then a little more there. You don't want to cut too much off of one side and not enough on the other. You only have more turning, more of a turning radius on one side. Um, yeah, let's get that done. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, so um, just to get you updated on what I was doing, uh, I did finish taking everything out. Um, did all the wiring on this because for the servo, obviously, before you put um, connect it to it, I, this was one of the uh, arms for one of my other cars. I didn't have a um, servo arm long enough for this, to this, and I didn't want to use a small one, small servo because I think the stronger one is better. But um, I had to connect everything just to make sure this the servo was centered before I do a little trimming and everything to make sure it fits in there. I trimmed this down so the servo fits inside there good. So I just gotta do a little trimming here. I'll connect it, center it, and work on the rest of it. So we'll see what happens when we all uh, do a little bit more work to it. A little bit more tweaking, we'll see. But I'll be back to you. All right guys. So you can see, I made a big mess. Um, no. Really what I did was, uh, I'm gonna clean this up, but made this hole a little bigger for the servo. Did some grinding, fitted it, works good. Gonna be mounted like that, so I can get a good turning radius all the way. Um, I also cut out this inside right here to give it a little more room for the servo on top that's all I had to cut I didn't cut anything else um, so I'm gonna mount this I just warming up the glue gun there I'm gonna mount this in centered the servo put a screw here um, see if I have another one for the size which I should But um, yeah, I have it. I have a bunch of screws. So this is gonna go right in there. It works perfectly. It goes all the way one way and all the way the other. So it's perfectly fine. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is finishing this, finishing up the servo. Um, I'm gonna do a little cleanup with it. The suspension, but put the front suspension back in. Take these these wheels off and um, try to fit these on these are a little bit well these are the same as the back but the front ones are different because these this obviously is a two-wheel drive and these tires are four-wheel drive crawling tires so do a little bit of a uh, finagling here but uh yeah that's what i'm where i'm at so far and um after i put this in uh, and take off these two front tires. This is, these are gonna be actually harder because they're the bolts. They just lock right in. Um, I'm gonna try to mount all the tires. Servo will be done, and then um, we'll take it from there. So we'll see you back in a few. All right, guys. So what I did was the receiver and the transmitter. Transmitter. The steering servo, sorry, steering servo is put in, all set, locked up, everything's good. I put all the electronics just to see how it works, make sure everything works before I start going on, going any further. And um, you can see, it's uh, everything works. Go slow. That's good. Steering servo. Looks good. So what I'm gonna do next is um get these wheels off and uh try to fit on the other ones. So be in touch. Alright everybody, so you can see that I did a little bit more. Um got this front tire, that front tire on. Uh I just finished putting together this front tire, so I have to put it on. And what I'm gonna be doing now is you can see that works down there. Um, taking this tire off, which we can do right now. Oops. 
it, it, it looks better. Definitely looks better with the bigger tires. I mean, they're not huge, huge, but they are better looking. Um, yeah. See, this goes right on. You just screw it back in. That's the good thing about the back ones. These uh, screws go right back in. That was a quick one, but the front was definitely harder because I had to, the pin, the pin that was here from there to there was um, long, so I had to cut it. Um, I did have it, but I must have misplaced it. I did want to show how much I took off, about a half inch, maybe an inch. So that it would fit good and um this is a good fitting you know see it's not too much not too much off from the front and the back looks good um, yeah so I'm gonna put the other tire on we're gonna clean it up a little it's kind of dirty put the other tire on I have the charger I have the battery charged already this is the battery that I'm putting in it it's a 1400 milliamp it's a 7.4 volt battery it's a 1400 milliamp so this is definitely good enough for this little truck I have three of those so I can spend a while driving this thing um, I'm gonna beef up these wires a little and clean it all up put everything in it and give it a go alright let me finish up what we got here going. See you in a little bit. Hey right, guys, we're almost there. Almost there. Got all four tires on. Spinning good. A little wobbler, but spinning good. It's gonna stay. Uh, front tires on. Proportional steering. Proportional motor. Four of them off. Might save these. Don't know why, but might save them. Like the way they look. So, you know. But yeah, I got the top part on. Took a little bit of maneuver and I put the suspension in it. You know. It's coming together though. Um, this trans this uh transmission in the back has two gears. Has a high high gear and a low gear, which I like. Switch it high and low. Which is which? I don't know. Sticker is off. I'll figure it out. I'll find out when I take it on this first run. Um. Yeah, we're almost, almost to the finish point. Now I'm gonna throw the electronics in. Uh, double stick everything down because this ain't gonna be a high speed car. So get it all together and um the next vid the next uh, video should be with it all together so see you in a few all right guys here it is all put together with the electronics all put together clean nice and zip tied up That's the battery. It's all velcroed in there. Um, the ESC, the, the receiver, and all the wiring is buttoned up. The servos in there, nice and tight. Everything is good. So I'm gonna put it together. Uh, what I what I want to do with this also is. Um, Instead of having the screws on the body, like having to keep screwed in, I'm gonna put some posts, like double screw posts right through here, put them up there and just clip them. So I don't have to keep screwing and unscrewing the body. I mean, it's a simple thing, but it'll look good. 
but I'll give you a little sample of what it looks like running. It's on. We'll see. It does look good. I like the way it looked, you know, when I saw it at the store. Look at the steering. Slowly, one way, slowly the other. Goes forward. Backwards. I would set up something. Yeah, let me make a little room so I can show you one sec. Alright guys, here it is. That's going fast. Turning is good. Slow. Going faster. That's good speed. I like it that the wheels are darker. Looks good like that. I think it did good. Well guys, that's it for this video. Sorry it was a little bit long. Um, kept cutting it out, but I like doing that a few times because it's actually better for me because the video is gonna take longer because I have so much to do with everything that I had to do with it. Um, then I took a break and um, went out and raced my other car, which you'll see in, in my next video actually. Actually, sh uh, should have been before this one. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you have any comments, anything you want that I can um, improve on, just uh, leave a comment below. Let me know, you know. Any criticism is good, good or bad. I, 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 I accept it. Um, thanks for watching, though. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Thanks, guys. Bye.